Hello, my name is Mary Ann Wombolt, and I'm one of the authors of a paper that's highlighting the special issue of family process. Uh, the special issue is on how relational processes and problems are being defined in DSM-5 and hopefully in the ICD-11. So the first paper talks about the history of how family therapists have tried to diagnose or categorize various relational problems over the years and the work that our work group on relational processes, which is an ad hoc committee to the DSM-5, has done specifically on looking at the parent-child relationships and the intimate adult partner relationships. So the first paper is a nice overview of thinking about can relationships really be disorders? Can they be problems? Is it based in one person or both people? How might you think about categorizing things? And there are both strengths and weaknesses to categorizing relational processes. Um, one of the strengths is, is if that we could get uh, more succinct and clear-cut criteria, I think people in primary care and primary health services will be able to identify relationships that might cause problems much sooner, and we could have a larger public health impact. So hopefully people can identify these problems, can get families referred for appropriate treatment, and we can minimize the impact that relational problems will have on people in the family. Of course, the disadvantages might be that people might feel stigmatized or blamed for causing problems. And of course, psychiatry in particular has had a long history of blaming families for the problems that their members have had. So we really want to avoid doing that. And you'll find in this paper a discussion of how to walk that fine line of identifying problems in a systematic and reliable way versus blaming or stigmatizing families. So I hope you'll read it and I hope you'll find it interesting.